fix it. I'll fix it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It looks good. Look at that haircut. Photography has started out for me from hiking in the mountains. I would always go hiking out in the mountains and I wanted a camera to capture all the moments. And I just started shooting my family and people uh, along with the scenery and it just sort of developed from there and I started getting interested in shooting people more. Um, and yeah, that's, that's my start in photography. Well, you see I have a lot of style. <laughs> I pretty much invented style, okay? <laughs> no, style, my style of photography is, uh, I try to say it's more natural, but um, it's, I don't know, what the fuck is style? Romantic. The type of photography I shoot, I shoot, uh, I call my style of photography like beauty portraits. Um, because I'm drawn to the beauty, that's it. How, how do you like that? <laughs> yeah, that's, that was good. That was awesome. <laughs> Style. I just take pictures of people. Sir, serious questions, Jay. <laughs> well, I'll give you a serious answer, okay. No, I'm just kidding. You can totally do, you know, whatever you want to. This is like an entry about you, right? So. Well, I'm not an interviewee. I like to take pictures. <laughs> so I'm going to take pictures while we do this interview. Sure. Oh, God. I have a lot of uh, photographers that I fo fo follow that are very inspirational. Um, the main inspiration when I when I first started photography was coming from Joel Grimes. He's a phenomenal teacher and he does a lot of composite artwork and so I bought all his uh, DVD tutorials and that sort of really pushed me into Photoshop and uh, started getting me shooting people a lot more. But inspiration, uh, geez, there's a million of them. Eric Almas, he's a phenomenal commercial advertising photographer. And then Every photographer in Russia is awesome, and uh, there's some Ukrainian photographers that are okay, I guess. Maybe Irene's all right. <laughs> <laughs> For me, dream place, uh, I definitely want to do Eastern Europe, uh, just because of the photos I've seen from there are phenomenal. It's just a different scenery for me, being on the prairies out here. And dream model, same thing, Eastern European, all the way. The bloodlines there are perfect, so can't complain. That's where we're going. Eastern, we're going to Moscow, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, Nikon. I own Nikon everything, so I'm gonna have to say Nikon for the most part, especially this D800, the, the dynamic range and the resolution, you can't go wrong with that. But um, Canon does render the skin tones a lot better. It's got that Canon color you can't go wrong with. So I'm probably gonna do both. Can I say both? I'm gonna go both. Both. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a hard one because you'd want a lot of versatility, but forget versatility. I would get the 200 millimeter F2. Uh, that thing is phenomenal. That is my dream lens for sure. Other than that, uh, if I want more versatility, I would go with my 35 millimeter, 1.4. Doesn't matter the brand, they're all really good. Um, forget about one lens, I'm gonna get them all. I want the 50 mil too, a 1.4, 85 mil, you gotta have that, and you have to have a 135 mil. So forget about one lens, I'm taking them all. Actually, I'm gonna take this 85 1.2L series that I see on this Canon here. That's gonna be my lens. Irene, she's not gonna <laughs> need it anymore anyways. <laughs> This one. <laughs> no, actually, all my latest shoots are my favorite shoots because then I get to see whether or not I'm learning anything new or I'm growing as a photographer or as an artist. Uh, so my latest shoots, I don't really have one particular shoot that stands out as an awesome, epic shoot because um, all of my shoots are awesome and epic. But definitely my latest stuff, always my latest work is my favorite work. 
So that right now, today, take a selfie. That would be my favorite. We did. Do it. Ah, <laughs> uh, my ring light. Yeah, actually, that did get me a lot of uh, exposure on the interweb. Um, I do have a great tutorial out on how to build it. It's just a do-it-yourself project made from light bulbs, and um, it's been a lot of fun for me. It throws out phenomenal light. It's great for beauty portraits, and I mean, it'd be great for doing like stuff like this for video. Um, I've had a lot of fun with it, and my shots that I've posted, people seem to love. So, um, you know. That's my ring light, it's awesome. Build one, go on 500px and check it out. Uh, the best advice, um, oh shit, I have lots of advice for young photographers or starting photographers. Um, mainly, uh, there's no wrong way to use any of the equipment to make your images. Uh, don't, don't get frustrated about uh, settings and stuff like that or whether you're doing something wrong. There's no wrong way to use these cameras. There's no wrong way to use your light modifiers. And uh, you know, all you gotta do is whatever you gotta do to make your vision uh, come to life in the image. And, uh, and with that, you really have to ignore a lot of the naysayers out there that tell you, you know, you have to have certain settings, you have to have certain gear. Um, the best advice is to ignore those people. Ignore people that are telling you you can't do shit. You gotta just grab what you're comfortable with and make it work however you're comfortable making it work. Don't follow rules in photography at all. Don't follow any rules. In fact, smash all the rules. That's the best advice I can give you. Smash some people too, because there's some people I want to smash. Can I say that on camera? <laughs> you, you already did. <laughs>